हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई सेशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस सब सरफेस इन्वेस्टिगेशन मैथड्स वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द शेलो फाउंडेशन राइट इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ शेलो फाउंडेशन ईच ऑफ दैम वर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ईच अदर बट दे वर एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड बिकॉज आई हैड टोल्ड यू दैट इफ यू रिमेंबर द प्रीवियस टू If you uh, understand the simple isolated footing, just isolated footing, then you will be able to derive all of the other types from the same itself. Okay. Uh, I had also discussed about shallow foundation and another is yes, deep foundation. Okay. So now we are moving further today. Uh, after getting done with the shallow foundation. next we are going to move with another core topic of your uh, syllabus uh, of building construction that is deep foundation okay uh, specifically we shall go in deep foundation we will discuss about pile foundation now we have actually we have a uh, major three to four types of deep foundation okay first is pile foundation second is uh, uh, cofferdams and third is the cages uh, but from that uh, everything will be covered in your syllabus but from that right now we are discussing only about pile foundation so let us understand let us have a briefing about what is a pile foundation how does it work how is it inserted into the ground or how it is constructed into the ground uh, if you talk about shallow foundation it is just a normal process of uh, placing the reinforcement and doing the concreting work masonry work it is a normal process but if you are constructing a deep foundation it will require uh, huge skills right you need skilled laborers in certain cases so what is pile foundation and how does it work and where it is used what are its uses we shall discuss the same uh, have a look at the uh, picture uh, the simple type of house you can see over here in the picture you have a simple type of house okay uh, the house is resting the house is resting on sur supporting pillars uh, let us call a, uh, call them first pillars okay so your house is supporting on the pillars now these pillars are inserted into the ground up to where yes up to the hard strata or the bed rock where the desirable bearing capacity of the soil is available okay so first thing soil bearing capacity is poor at shallow depth second thing a uh, hard strata or hard bed or bed rock where desirable bearing capacity is going to be achieved is available but at a greater depth correct okay uh, so in these cases what will you do shallow foundation is not possible so what you will do is you will take a long slender slender means thin a long slender structural member made up of either concrete or timber or steel or cast iron or wrought iron you will take a long member right that length will be up to the desirable depth of your deep foundation you are inserting them directly into the ground you are inserting them directly into the ground and then on top of that your structure is going to rest your structure is going to stay unstable so that type of foundation which behave like supporting pillars for your structure which are driven deep down into the soil strata up to the bed rock and on which your structure is anchored is held is kept safe is known as pile foundation now these members these structural members come in variety of sizes variety of shapes variety of different uh, based on function a uh, variety of material right so step by step we shall discuss about various types of pile foundation and the method of driving the same into the ground uh, have a look at another picture which you can see uh, have a look at the picture you can see uh, high rise buildings right you can see high rise building and you can also see a smaller building so now specifically 
this these buildings high rise buildings are supposed to carry very heavy loads and if the soil bearing capacity is poor at shallow depth or let us say the hard strata is available at a greater depth then these structures will be in most cases supported with the help of pile foundation uh, have a look in the image you can see that how they are resting on pile foundation um, next image which you can see is uh, of a yes of a tall tower of a cable tower right the towers are tall structures chimneys are tall structures right coolant towers are tall structures so any kind of tall structures which you are constructing for that also when the loads shall be very heavy pile foundation is constructed you can see in the image as well that how pile foundation is required in different conditions not only these conditions it is also a very much useful method for marine structures as well so let us first discuss that how is the pile driving actually done what is pile foundation let us understand this now uh, have a look very closely look at it very closely in the first image you can see that a bore hole is created into the crown with the help of yes with the help of auger okay in the second uh, image video you can again see bore hole is created but this time the bore hole is slightly thin and inside the bore hole what is placed which is already constructed you can see the reinforcement cage right in the third image you can see that your pile foundation is ready right you don't have to do concreting work you don't have to construct a bore hole you don't have to insert the reinforcement cage and then perform the concreting work but you can see over here your pile member is directly driven into the ground with the help of drop hammer so these three images differentiate that there are lots of pile driving methods the first method which you can figure out from these videos is augering method second you can figure out is hammering method so the drop hammers come in variety of uh, different types it may be based on the number of blows per minute amount of load it applies a uh, number in, uh, in one blow because the pile members may get even damaged when you are performing this type of uh, striking and blowing and dri driving it into the ground so now you should understand by these videos that pile foundation can be either cast in situ right if it is concrete member or it can be pre cast so pre cast will be directly driven into the ground you can see in the video as well and also if it is any other material they can be directly driven into the ground so this is your basic principle of pile foundation how it is inserted how it is constructed let us move further now now uh, what are the pile members okay uh, if you want to define it technical technical definition so as i said already it is a long slender structural member it is a long slender structural member which is constructed from any material right and then they are driven into the ground and they act such as supporting pillars for your structure it holds your structure in the ground that is pile foundation uh look at the image over here uh in the image you can see the first you can see is the inclined piles that is anchor piles okay next you can see the vertical plate vertical plate is sheet pile now what is the function of a sheet pile sheet pile is one type of non load bearing pile we will have a big classification of pile foundation i have summarized it as well but from the figure just try to understand that for a single marine structure now if the pile members are provided inclined that will be your anchor piles it will anchor your structure marine structure into the sea bed or into the ground uh, next is the sheet piles they are non load bearing piles they are generally constructed to protect your structure from the external surroundings next you can see is a pile cluster pile cluster or pile dolphin that is grouping of piles when number of piles are provided at a single place then it is known as cluster or grouping of piles next uh, look at the image again you can see the image 
can you see the black colored pile members long members provided at the bridge yes now these pile members are not driven into the ground for the foundation purpose but they are provided as a protective measure as a protective measure to the bridge structure which is constructed already it may have pile foundation beneath yes but these piles are specifically provided to protect your structure from any kind of impact of floating objects or the berthing ships right and these type of pile foundation are known as fender piles they are known as fender piles okay have a look uh, which type of pile do you see from the line diagram you can make out yes anchor piles right they are given in incline direction they also have the function of fender piles so pile foundation are now classified first based on load transfer mechanism second you will have also even a more vast classification load bearing and non load bearing okay so based on load transfer that how it is transferring the load second will be based on the function or the use and third it is obvious based on construction material so uh, before moving to classification let us quickly discuss about the uses uh, after listening to all of these uh, uh, words and the topics which i am covering right now you should be able to write the uses on your own as well it is very easy right uh, the first thing uh, very much common that when spread footing is not suitable you will provide pile foundation that is obvious thing next if you have soil of uh, compressible type or say water logged area where pumping of subsoil water is not possible water logging is going to happen so pile foundation is preferable next pile for bridges and water front structures for breakwaters for piers a uh, bridge piers dock harbor for all of these uh, you already saw for the bridge in the previous slide as well in the photograph okay next is obvious when the load is very heavy and distribution is uneven next to resist the uplift load right when uplift pressure inside when your structure is resting inside the water inserted into the seabed uplift pressure can occur so to protect that from that you have pile foundation uh, i already said about pumping of subsoil water when it becomes costly to remove the subsoil water uh, timbering is difficult timbering is one kind of special work where uh, when you are uh, carrying out the excavation work you have to provide temporary support in your foundation trenches in the form of timber wales and rafters that is timbering work right timbering in trenches when that becomes costly you have to directly provide pile foundation and next is that when you have to construct a large drainage line in near future or in say uh, later then pile foundation is preferable for the adjoining structures also they are used as fender piles that is also one of the uses you can write down the same um next moving to the important theories that is the factors what are the factors that affect why selecting type of pile foundation whether you will use concrete pile you will use steel pile or timber pile or cast iron it depends on varieties of factors right uh, let us get it summarized to four factors first is yes if you can guess then first will be location and type of structure depending on type of structure and where it is located based on that pile foundation will be selected ground conditions if you have water logged area if you have compressible soil if you have soft to clay soil uh, if you have black cotton soil uh, if you have black cotton soil then under in pile foundation is suitable if you have normal conditions of pile then any kind of end bearing or friction pile shall be used Uh, i am talking about the type of pile foundation it is going to be covered so just remember that i have said these things next durability uh, have a look at the picture uh, the first picture you can see the first picture uh, timber piles are inserted into the ground but what has happened over here is that the timber piles have rotted they have become damaged right so at times periodically you will have to uh, provide rehabilitation as well because there are factors affecting durability uh, if you are constructing a marine uh, structure or a pier then uh, here 
timber pile is provided you can also provide precast concrete piles but steel piles are not at all preferable because they will prove to be the uh, most uh, less durable for the marine structures and the last is cost consideration it is uh, pretty obvious right cost is important overall economy should be maintained and also look at the second picture i just uh, said about black cotton soil that under reamed pile foundation are used the picture depicting depicting over here is of the under reamed pile foundation the flaps which you can see the two flaps which you can see when this casing will be inserted into the ground that flaps shall move and create a bulb and empty uh, it will cut off the soil and create the bulb inside and it will form an under reamed pile foundation that is suitable for uh, clay soil generally clay soil okay students so, so i think we are done for the day this covers your uh, certain important theories uh, of the pile foundation before you move further to any other types okay thank you students